he gazes at the sky and remembers a time when he could happily go to school. His friends were there playing with a kite. Irfan has a dream to play with his friends again. This is my kite. I too have friends, but I do not know where they are now. I miss them. What is my sister going to eat tonight? Just the same as the other children, he too hopes he can fill his stomach every day. Every day, Irfan picks up the bottles he finds and sells them to feed his family. He is 10 this year and he is from Myanmar. Like a bottle floating in an open sea, he drifted to a foreign land. I'm Irfan. Dad said our home isn't safe. To avoid cruelty and chaos, we hid anywhere we could. To survive, we left the place we called home. My sister was born in a stranger's house as we ran. They drifted in an ocean of uncertainty for a long time. The sun overhead scorched them. The cold nights chilled their hearts. Who will give them water? Who will give them food? While fleeing violence, they went hungry for long periods of time. When they arrived at a refugee camp, his sister was dying. Irfan remembers those dark days. She wasn't eating anything. She used to stay inside all day. His little sister thankfully survived. However, things are not settled for Irfan and his family. His dad is too ill to work. Facing the situation of losing his family at any time, Irfan feels afraid, but he faces his challenges bravely. Dad, I will go help us get food. Life in a refugee camp made him grow up fast, making him more mature than other children his age. Although he is scrawny, he has an amazing will to survive. Although he lost his home, he knows his family is still complete as long as they are all alive. Let us protect this fragile heart, protect his home, and protect his dream. All over the world, there are millions of children like Irfan, striving hard to survive. They face emergencies such as natural and man-made disasters, famines and persecution. In a crisis, they lose basic conditions for survival such as clean water, food security and proper medical care. They suffer great mental trauma. Join the 30-hour famine movement and sign up as a famine fighter. Let us do what we can to improve the living conditions of these suffering children and help them fight for a better tomorrow.